They can hear me. And they can hear you. We're back. We're finally back. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, our fine, our fine audience of the Hack Jack Show after a extended vacation, <laughs> a very Thank extended you. vacation. We are back for the 187th episode of the Hack Jack Show. And yet, and hello, Mr. Aaron. Yes, my face has changed, system. I got in some good surgery. <laughs> I got paid. I, 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 uh, actually went, I went down to Brazil, talked to John, and he pointed me to a good surgeon. <laughs> oh, ooh, we got yourself that Brazilian facelift, and ooh. Exactly. I got that BFL. <laughs> <laughs> got a Brazilian facelift. <laughs> Oh, but no, no, no. So I just wanted to just a change of change of image, something that's a bit more, I guess, oh, uh, of not official, but just, you know, it's changed. I just wanted to change, but it's also good to it is also good to be back, uh, back back in the saddle, be that because that <clears throat> that little vacation was that de- was def was definitely needed, but it <laughs> well. <coughs> oh, look, if this was a movie, if this was a movie, the the first act would have been like the part where everything's going fine, and then the second act that's that's when it turns from a fam- from a comedy into a, into a natural disaster film. Yep. <laughs> yep. So, for those of you who don't know, the uh in the great, mo- I, is it uh, not all text? I think it's just the the Gulf Coast, right? Yeah, mostly the Gulf Coast. Yes, in the Gulf Coast of Texas, Hurricane Burrow get, um, came through, giving us tropical storms all, all, all over our city, all over our city, and the many cities with outside of it, outside of it. And and Jack and I, well, and, well, and Jack and I, um, unfortunately, mostly Jack, we had to go through a bit of a struggle. As our as our as our citizens of our city of two million, well not people, but I think buildings at the very least, both residential and business, lost power, and at currently as we speak, uh, the city is still trying to repair and bring power back to many people who are still living without it. Unfortunately, man, you know, uh, I was actually uh, we. So my mom and I, we we just, I think it was yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I think yesterday. Yesterday we quickly went to get groceries as soon as we finally noticed that we needed food. Now, uh, we were overhearing one of the cashiers talking to another one, and one of them said, "Oh yeah, you see my, I don't remember the the person's name, uh, the person, but it's let's say relative, my relative." Uh, had their power for like a few minutes and then it went out and now the city's like oh we're gonna we're scheduling your area to be repaired again in, on july 19th so four more days but that was like t- there are some people scheduled till the 19th to get their power back like almost what almost two weeks just yeah just about which was the estimated time with our um our the our city's main energy pro- provider that was their estimated time of when all all of w- in which everyone will get their would get power back which get it which unfortunately is a struggle because it is peak summer season uh, august september tend to be more hotter but july is still hot and so we got mm-hmm. and so we got ma- these are many people sweating uh sweating and just and not and not living com- comfortably in 85 90 something 95 degree weather with w- with even more awful heat he- heating heat indexes so 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 we so it is to use a phrase is an understatement to say that we felt the heat uh the, this uh this this pa- this past week <laughs> very much an understatement also welcome johnny mm-hmm. Good to see you, Johnny. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Now, I now I was definitely fortunate that on uh, that when 
the storm came through, which was this was last Monday, literally last week. Um, when the storm came through, I'm, I'm fortunate that uh, our home ca uh, came out virtually unscathed. I think the worst we got was some some plants uh, got got bu got busted, but that that's fine. <laughs> I'd rather <laughs> I'd rather have some plaster fences and some worst things I've I've seen as I uh, drive around town. And we had and we had power back in about fifteen in fifteen hours, so so my so my experience was short having to d to deal with that. Uh, I I mostly used that time to either I I pretty much did three things. Number one, number one, I played on my on my three DS since I ch I made sure to charge it last. I made sure to charge it the day the night before on full battery. So I can play some more Project Cross Zone. You know Project Cross Zone, Jack? I've never heard of that one. Oh, it's a it's a neat little RPG where it's basically it's a big crossover of Capcom, Bandai Namco, and Sega characters. Huh. Yeah, that's it, pretty fun though. Oh yeah, it's a uh, let's see. I think the best way how how to describe it. Essentially, it essentially you you go around, you go around a map and and the way you do combat is that instead of well the strategy is is that is that you're in you're in pairs of people so an example you're Ryu and Ken and okay. as Ryu and Ken you have to inflict the most amount of damage possible on an enemy and you set, basically get uh, four. You get three different attacks, and you can attack about four times, give or take. And and each and each attack comes a different property, does different types of damage, and you're and you're trying to maximize the amount of damage you do on your opponent. And it shows, and in doing so, the the kind of the the presentation is you see your characters basically do like these cross combination combos of paying your enemy in the air, bringing them back down, doing all their signature moves. And like everyone from Street Fighter characters, Dark Stalker characters, Virtual Fighter characters, uh what's what's another what's another one? Tekken characters. Um who else, who else, who else I see? Who else I see? Dot hat characters. Uh and and many, many more. So I'm I only put in three hours into the into the game, and so that's what I use my time as I as I had no power, just occasionally playing and just ha having fun with that. And when I was not playing that game, I was then well I try I tried to use a uh, my brand new uh, Switch Lite that I got the uh, the day before. Unfort mm -hmm. Unfortunately, uh, I want. Just to play some of the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection needed an internet connection, even though I, even though it has an offline mode. So <laughs> that was a bust. Dang. So, and when I was not doing that, I was was I did I draw anything that day? I think I did. Yeah. I thought you did. I I did on that on that particular uh, that particular Monday. I drew, I drew my first. Third sketch of Trish from Devil May Cry. I posted on, on my on my ex account one that it's like it's it's done. I don't like it, but I'm now on my my fourth attempt with the with the full body. I did like how the I think it was a few days ago when I drew her face very immaculately, at least a little bit. The keen artists out there, if you see my most recent sketch, I uh, I drew. You you'll be able to find the errors I did, and when you do, <laughs> you it, it and when you do it, you you can annoy me about it because it certainly did. Because at a certain point, I was like, I can't fix it. <laughs> it's too late. I'm t <laughs> it's like I'm already I'm like I'm already on the shading. I can't do anything more with this part <laughs> of the face. I just have to commit to it. I gotta commit to the to the mess up. Right, but that was. But then, but still, that was fun. Just thanks to occup really occupy my time that whole Monday, and also mostly try to keep as cool as I can. But uh, there, if there, although there was one funny moment, 
uh, near the end of that Monday, um, where <laughs> number one, I thought I had to go back to work the next day. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I did, and all because I misinterpreted a text message my supervisor uh, sent me. Mm-hmm. E- even and the ironic part is that I asked for clarification because in my mind, because I work, um, uh, because uh, I work, let's say with with maintenance folk to be ge- to be general, I was expecting, all right, I gotta go, you know, be on call, help with whatever was going on. That wasn't necessarily the case, and so I ended up having so I ended up having to uh, sleep in early for nothing, while the rest of my family <laughs> were oh my gosh, my mother. Mm-hmm. She turned on so so she has a she has she has a she has a Mercedes um, SUV, and in that Mercedes SUV there is a power outlet for a plug. And she had a whole bunch of extension cords to go into the house so that they can have some light as the as the whole family is ch- is trying to play a, um, a little uh, t- uh, tile g- tile board game called Rumic Cube. <laughs> so I did see it there on the corner still. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and and before that. And before, and before that, um, my mo- and before that, my mother tried. There was an attempt to try to play a the clue the the Golden Girls edition of Clue. Huh. That my mother just happened to have in her closet for who knows how long, and it was now she could have brought it out earlier, but. You know, hindsight's twenty twenty. She brought it out just around the time we were losing sunlight, and none of us played Clue before this famous board game. And so I was trying to learn the rules, set everything up, and just get everything prepared. Well, and we're losing sunlight. And at a certain point, we're like, okay, there's no way we're gonna be able to play this game now. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I had, I had to go to sleep early, and so I ended up going to bed. And uh, we got packed. My part came back around midnight. I woke up early to go to work, only only to be told by the essentially my boss's boss. He looks at me and goes, "Why are you here?" <laughs> <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and so now I ended up did doing some work. Uh, so you know I got some hours out of it. Then I. D- and then I didn't go to work to the next day after that. The next day on Wednesday, but but on Thursdays when I officially like came back to work, so that was so that was so that was my week. The, the only dangerous thing I had to go through was was dealing with traffic, not and not not because there was a lot of people driving, but only because no one knows how to uh, yield. No one knows yeah. how to yield in this city. Oh, by the way, a very, uh, this is just uh, the hack uh, from our previous conversation right now, uh, before we started the stream, I almost got into an accident because of that. <laughs> because, I... uh, of course, it, everyone in the city knows how to yield if it's going from, like, like going in the, in the north, south, and east to west. But, God forbid you try to do a left turn. No one waits for you. Oh yeah, oh, that's the worst. Oh my god, that's the worst. And 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 also in that past week, as I was working, on on one day I witnessed I witnessed two what could have been deadly ass accidents as I was driving around town at work. One of them involved one of them involving a Ford Mustang almost almost hitting a van as it was trying to make a, a I was right turn at a four-way intersection and it was and it was speeding yeah that that, that's see that that's the thing with our with our city and people drive like it's mad max even though society has not crumbled society Oh, uh, and also let me look at the chat real quick. We'll, uh, we'll read the chat real quick, and Jack will share his side of st- his side of the story. And 
uh and he he between the two of us he's the one that got hit got hit the ha hardest so let's see here Johnny asks, cupcakes i have to show jackie boy how to play the clc tomorrow <laughs> oh that's from a seven thought he was calling you cupcake jack i was like oh that's a cheap <laughs> nickname my bad that was for you Sarah. uh johnny comments uh it would take a hurricane to get people to play Golden Girls Clue, wouldn't it? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And Miss Sarah, and she accused me, say, it was hacking the library with a candlestick. Wrong! For you see, I was at the, I was, I was in the clock room with the pistol. Yeah. Beat that. Ooh. Ooh. Well, Johnny says not the seal, so you have to call it the cook. Put a cook in there. <laughs> and also, <laughs> yeah, Johnny, lastly, Johnny says Jackie Boy is not a cupcake; he's a pookie bear. <laughs> I swear, I've been hearing that more and more. Not the not to me, but I mean, okay, sometimes to me, but in general, the the word pookie bear. I'm like, God dang it! Why are some people gravitating towards that? That like. That pet name? Uh, no, I I don't know. May, I don't know. May because it, it gets a reaction out of you. Anyways, true. I but share. Anyways. I share my story now. Time. Uh, now, now, Jack, share your horroring tale of your of your experience with Hurricane Barrel. All right, mine started on Sunday because the 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 hurricane technically hit in the middle of actually. Okay, technically yes, Monday, but it's early. Sunday night, Monday early and early. Yeah, early in the mornings in the in the in the witching hours, as they say. So, uh, I was already. There was no way for me to get out of it when it came to like being home and or being at work because my job knows my address and they know the address of the site. They can put two and two together. Who would probably be the one that with the short end of the the stick to kind of protect the house, uh, protect the, the job site? So I ended up having to work at night. I was doing the most I could prepare. I had my stuff with me. I had uh my flashlight and made sure as soon as it was getting worse i had my uh phone all the way up to 100 so as soon as it started getting worse uh i ran into the the main building i'm not gonna trust that little guard shack and throughout that moment it was like already it was getting bad it was already i'm gonna skip ahead to 5 5 30 in the morning so 5 a 5 30 a.m I'm here in my in, inside the break room. I'm like, all right, thank God. It seems like no one is dumb enough to, or I was like, thank God. It seems like no one's going to be coming in. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. As soon as I try to go to the restroom, I get a call on the company phone. Uh -oh. And in that company phone, I'm like, oh, fuck. It has to, it, it must be someone up in the front wanting to get in and by this point it is already pouring rain i answer the call I'm like i don't even go professional i'm just like yes and the guy's like hey yeah uh we're we're i'm up in the front the gate's closed like can i get through i'm like <sighs> Like I, I'm not even out there. I'm not even inside the guard shack. You're gonna make me run out there? Yeah, sorry. That man's not sorry. I run out there. From one direction, the rain is going from behind me forward, so my back is getting smashed with a bunch of water. As soon as I turn the corner to another free area where there's no buildings blocking it, I also get sideswiped by a uh, wind and rain that's going left to right. So now I'm in a vortex of water running towards the, the guard shack. 
I open the door. He goes through. I run back to the break room. And then as soon as I do that, uh, 30 minutes later, you, you want to know what happened? What happened? That guy left. He came into the building, or not not to my building, but he, he went, I'm assuming he went to his parking lot to his company. And then as soon as he waited there for 30 minutes, show, saw that no one was going to show up, he left. I was there soaking wet. And some of the uh, some of the guys that work for uh, my company, they end up coming in and they're like, "This guy bless his heart." And I'm I don't mean it in like the the bad way where some people say bless bless your heart, but I mean it like in a good way. This man acted or was trying to do some semblance of normalcy. He went to his parking lot area. I'm assuming he grabbed something. He came back soaking wet. He brought a pie. He brought a pie. Left again, brought another pie. And then started making uh making coffee. I was just like, hmm. Huh. Priorities. He's like, there's pie there. Yeah. By this point, I'm not even more I'm not even hungry anymore. I'm not even hungry. I ate all I could. I'm just there. Few more guys come in. Surprisingly, all of them are just like. One of them said, "Like, oh yeah, I called the the guy, the the manager, or like I called someone. They said that uh, we're just gonna have to sit in the break room for a bit, see what we're gonna do." Uh, they ended up giving me. <laughs> I want bloody coffee during a deadly storm too. <laughs> you know, Johnny. I don't know, like, yeah, maybe. He wants it full Brazilian. So, I'm there. We're we're just kind of dealing with it. All of a sudden, the the power goes out around uh, six, 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 yeah, six ish. Yeah, that, that's the power around, goes out. That's around the same time um, we lost power too at our home. And at that point, we're like, oh, okay, the power went out. We're here waiting the 10 seconds that usually happens for the generators to kick in. They didn't kick in. Uh-oh. And I'm, we're, we're just like, the generator's not working. What? Oh, well, the power didn't come back on. The generator's not doing anything. Fire alarms start blaring because, like, literally, it's connected to electricity and all that stuff. And it's, like, trying to... And it's freaking out because there is no electricity. I go over there. I start resetting things. They go over to check the generators. 30 minutes pass. And they end up going. Y'all still streaming? I remember passing by a long time ago when you were streaming. Halo. Oh, hey. Hey, Billy. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we still stream. We still stream. Quite we often. always, we never stopped. Quite often, I should add. Yeah, <laughs> but welcome back. But yeah, so I they come in with like four battery packs, put them in the break room. Then he's like, "All right, so um, yeah, they told us we're not gonna be doing any work at all whatsoever. So we're gonna leave these here. Uh, we're gonna be heading home. We're gonna try to head home. And keep in mind, it's still storming out there. Those guys were trying their like I don't know how they did it, but they did it." They they went back home. I'm there by myself now. Again. And around 8 is when it got really, really bad. Like, that is when I was truly scared. And I was since I was by myself, I tried to, like, make sure people didn't panic. In my, like, when I say people, I mean, like, my immediate family and... My uh, my girlfriend. I didn't want them to panic to to think that like something bad happened to me. So, and keep in mind, I was doing a shift that was from that my usual shift is from six p.m. to six a.m. for that day. I was still there at eight. 
And then I was still there at 2 p.m. Uh -oh. So I was basically working for working 24, 20 hours. I almost did a 24 hour shift and hack. Mm -hmm. If someone makes you do a 20 hour shift, don't. It's horrid. I, I can handle a 16 hour shift, but 20 hours. No, that was horrible. I felt like literally they told me like, we're trying to find out who can relieve you all that good stuff. And I, I was like, I, I can't keep doing this, please. And then they're like, okay, we made this, the, the decision. So at 2 PM, just go. I'm like, okay, I can do that. It's 12 right now, but I can do that. Just two more hours. Yep. And I've been, I've been, I'm skipping a lot of stuff, like mostly things like, uh, when I was hiding inside the, not even the break room anymore. This is the locker room now at 8 AM. I was hearing like terrible wind shears going just everywhere. The magnetic locks on those doors, of course they, they're not magnetic anymore because no electricity. Doors are opening wildly. The one that was next to me, we had a bungee cord on it. It was at first, initially it was like barely opening two inches. This time it's like swinging wildly, even with the bungee cord. It's just like swinging wildly. And I'm here thinking it's going to like snap and like smack me across the face. And I'm also hearing banging from outside because we had uh, terrible timing. We had roofers last week and instead of going with the crane they use scaffolding this time so now i'm here worried that the scaffolding is going to fall on me even though i'm inside i'm hearing pipes banging i'm hearing things falling over and i'm just like i'm just like please god let me be let me be okay throughout this whole moment but other than that uh, finally, it quieted down. It's already 12, as I said before. Uh, right there and then. Uh, I was getting a bunch of other calls, and now I was having to explain to my general, my, my district manager, I'm like, hey, when I leave, nothing will be, if I leave, nothing will be closed. Are you okay with that? Didn't get a response. I called uh, the one other number I have to call every now and then. And I told them that they're like, okay, l let me call my supervisor and let me know. And let, and I'll let you know, supervise that supervisor calls me. It's like, she's the most wonderful old black lady I've ever heard. She's like mama bear type of aura to her. She's like, and did you tell your manager that? I'm like, yes. What did he say? He didn't respond. I'm still waiting. Give, give me your, give me your manager's number right now. I, I need to give him a piece of my mind. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I get a call back ten minutes later. Then I just hear her saying, like, all right, he's already on his way. I don't know why he said he's 10 minutes away. I don't know why he didn't tell me, tell you this, but yeah, he is 10 minutes on He's 10 minutes away. By that time, I'm like, all right, time to make my plans because I had plans. I had plans uh, when I was there because, and this is why I convinced my parents that I was going to work in my, in my workplace. They have a, uh, an ice machine and I know we're going to need it. So, a long while ago, I call. I actually talked to a the the uh, director of the building. On the and the, he was he was actually there. the The guy was actually there. I didn't even knew he was the director until he gave me his business card. He was one of the guys that was there six in at six in the morning, and I was the one that literally told him. That that gave him like this attitude of like he's like, did you know that that Gates kind of acting funky I'm like. I don't know the gate. I mean, there's a bunch of wind. I opened the gate. I made sure it opened properly. I just ran back inside. I don't really know. 
So I gave him that answer to a director of the building. So I, when I asked him for a, for ice bags, he's like, oh, well, I don't know what we have ice bags, but you can take the cooler that's upstairs. I run to the, to get the, the cooler. I go over there. That ice, that ice machine is filled to the brim. And it's like one of those restaurant type ice machines. So there is a lot. I grab as much as I can, fill up the entire chest. I even go, like, grab some trash bags and, like, doubled and tripled them up and made sure I get one more bag. I'm like, you know what? Let's go with that. My manager comes in. He's figuring out the gates. I'm finally able to leave at, like, oh, it was 1.30, technically. and. That was just day one. It was, it was a horrible day one. I went back home. I, thankfully, we still had cold air in the sense of like, as long as no one opens the door, we'll still have something. I went to sleep. I didn't wake up until Tuesday. And by then, I would say it's been kind of blurry when it comes to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's just like literally the same type of experience that most people right now are experiencing. They wake up. They're now noticing that the the rooms and the houses are, start, are starting to get hot. Uh, my, on Tuesday, my mom tried uh, cooking on the grill. Oh, no. And, like, I'm not going <laughs> to... I feel like sometimes my mom... Or, like, yeah, mostly my mom thinks that I don't know how to survive. When it's completely the opposite. I know certain... I have knowledge of certain things. I, I go out there, I'm like, where's mom? It's like, oh, she's in the backyard. I'm like, okay, I look out there in the backyard. My mom's on the grill. She's trying to start a fire. And I'm like, what? What you doing, mom? He's like, I'm. I'm gonna make something to eat. I need to cook something. I'm like, okay. I look inside the the the, the grill, and she has two mesquite logs in there. First of all, I was like, where'd you get the logs? And like, she's like, I've had them for a while. I had them. I'm like, okay, cool. But then, like, another thing dawned on me. She has two mesquite logs in there. For those that don't know how to make a fire, you do not just start with, like, yes, wood is flammable, but you just do not start with two big logs and then go from there. You have to make kindling to make an easy fire, to make a fast fire. You have to get kindling. And I was trying to explain that to my mom, and we were trying our best with what we had to make kindling. We couldn't really get it working. It was already now, she started at 8 apparently, it was already now 10. My dad finally woke up, he, he was doing, he figured out that we were in the back doing that. Uh, after a, a good amount of yelling, mostly because my dad's kind of stubborn in the way he wants to do things. And I wasn't really there, I just kind of like heard what happened, supposedly what happened. He got the fire started. We went ahead. We started eating. Uh, but, you know, he, it's funny. He literally said the same thing I did. And my mom acknowledges what he said. But not me. <laughs> I'm like, you, you just gotta, you gotta start kindling. Like, that's all you needed to do. I even showed my mom that I, I was ab I'm capable to chop wood. She thought I was not capable to chop wood. My dad brought out an axe. I, I saw one of the logs and I cut it in half. And my mom, like, before, my, uh, before I cut it in half, my mom was like, be careful, be careful. I cut it cleanly. After a few attempts, but I, I cut it cleanly. That's the, like, damn. That's the day when she saw her baby become a man. Like, do, do people, do y'all think I just, like, don't do anything? Like, yeah, I, yes, I physically... <laughs> <laughs> Your mom, low key, called you a bitch. 
<laughs> but uh, like that was the thing. It was just like, damn, Latina woman. What are you gonna do? Are you the? Yes, I am the youngest. I am literally the youngest. So yes, there is that going there. But mm. also the fact that uh, she's never seen me or my brother work hard a day in our lives. So. I mean, hey, like, if push comes to shove, anyone can do anything when they put their mind to it. Like, yes, I may not look like I'm going to bear grills it up everywhere <laughs> I go, he but ain't, he ain't gonna drink if there it. isn't... If there isn't yeah. a will, he will drink his piss. Yes. If, if, if it's necessary, I will do things that I don't normally do. He's a man of many skills. I'm a, I'm a man of <laughs> weird knowledge where I'm like, like, you know how you, you can scroll through like a, your, your favorite social media, some like YouTube, some are TikTok. For me, it was like TikTok. I'm like, oh, here's a survival tip. Eh, let me scroll past it. And I'm like, well, actually, you know what? Let's see. You, you may never know. What if one day I was in an airplane and it got, struck down by lightning and I'm not having to save myself in the middle of the ocean. Maybe I want to know how I can make my my pants into into li a life jacket. <laughs> you know. So so that's pretty much how I got my information on how to do some things. You got to hide your power you got to hide your power level and, and but and use it when it's up the utmost importance. <laughs> Hey, Dr. Crow. Welcome, welcome. Oh, yes, Getta says, it's pretty doctor. smart. Don't let your parents know you can do anything ever or they'll ask you to do it every time. <laughs> yeah, like, re like, re like reset the modem. Oh, my God. Uh, or do anything with technology ever. Oh, uh, yeah. Also, I'm happy to, I to, I'm happy to actually to give a status report on our city. So there was a bit of a, 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 mind, a meme a local, a local meme that pe people didn't know how to visualize where what pl what places in the in the si in the surrounding cities had power, up until someone had the bright idea of going to the Waterburger app, go lo go to the location, go click on locations and see which water water burgers were active. Yep. Last week, yep. it I was, was amazing. Last week, about ninety-five percent of water bur water burgers were uh were out, were out, were out with only like one or two, maybe three, uh, s some miraculously still still op operation. I'm happy to report that as of today, Monday, July fifteenth, that only one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven water burn locations are still without power out of fifty plus restaurants in in our great city. It is amazing and the fact where on the first few days uh some of the news places were really hammering on like the fact that our uh uh, like the city's electric company is just like dropping the ball because they're like it's a suggested app for power outage map look at the Whataburger uh, at the Whataburger app because it apparently is more reliable than the, <laughs> the map that the electric company is giving out I'm like damn <laughs> uh, capitalism at its finest ladies and gentlemen <laughs> and you know like we like to to like go ahead with like a little bit about that. We were uh there there were several people wondering why uh it was taking so long for our company to fix or like the, the, the electric company to fix all the outages. And uh especially when they see so many linemen just everywhere, like trucks and trucks of people of repair stations but just not being used i was i was gonna say i wasn't gonna use say it because i thought it was a rumor but pretty much it's like confirmed the they 
those linemen were not allowed to move. Like, even though I'm pretty sure some of them, and those were, they were out of, there was like a bunch of out of state workers coming in to help with the repair, but they were not allowed to move until the electric company agreed on how much to pay them. Oh my even God. Though, even though a lot of these people were like, <laughs> okay, but can you talk about it while we work on it? No. No, you stay there until we figure it out. They, so, were, they want they didn't want to pay our good electricians overtime. That's what it all boils down to. <laughs> it was like, oh my god. <sighs> and I knew like uh, and the the thing is that I know uh initially it was like, oh, Hurricane Barrel took out uh rest may they rest in peace like Hurricane Barrel uh, took four lives and left two million people without electricity. I was like, man, this number is going to get bigger. I know it for sure. And watch what happens. Like when I, I'm pretty sure everyone got the notification on their phones. And it was like, hey, it was an alert to make sure to have your generators 20 oh, feet away from the house. I saw that. And I couldn't believe it that, wait, there are people who legitimately keep their generators inside the house? No, it's not that. Or, Here's just, the in, thing. or just inside in general, or, or at least nearby. No. Or oh, go ahead, go yes. ahead. Yes. So here's the thing. Uh, I'm not going to, like, call these people stupid or anything like that to respect them because of, like, sadly, they lost their lives because of it. But... Yes, maybe some have tried putting their generators inside. If it's a generator that, like, you literally put fuel in and it works like that, don't don't keep it inside. Don't keep it inside. And if also, if that same generator is outside, again, keep it 20 feet away because... And also make sure you find out where you're pointing the exhaust on that generator. Because there are several things that can happen. Let's say this. You have the generator outside, but right next to your house. Let's say, like for me, I have a house where the kitchen area, kitchen slash living room area, our back door leads to our, directly to our backyard. Let's say I put a generator out there right next to that back door. It is still too close to the actual house because the carbon monoxide kind of ends up circling around that area. So with all the amount of times you open and close the door, it, even then through the cracks, it will come in and you won't even know. Another thing, let's say instead of that, I kept it 10 feet away. But now the, the, the exhaust for that generator is pointing towards the house. I could start a fire. Literally, the exhaust, the heat of that exhaust could start a fire. And especially with Texas weather, with the summer, as we were stating before. There have been cases where people had, like, the... You know how some houses have, like, this wooded-like thing on the, on their, on the frame, but it's not actually wood? Mm -hmm. There's pe people's houses that actually had that melted because of the generator exhaust. Mm -hmm. So if your house was made of wood and that happened and you were asleep in the middle of the night, that, that was a, that's another problem. Also, so that's why people were saying, put it 20 <laughs> feet away. Also, also Johnny, that's Japan. Our houses are, are made of brick and wood. Yeah. Ours is made of brick and wood. So, Still flammable, but not as flammable as as that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, but oh uh, yeah, that was. Oh, I would. I I I would. I think because I I I got I, I was the fortunate fortunate one fortunate one between between the both of us. Out of all the hurricanes I've experienced through, technically Katrina. Technically, I, mm -hmm. Harvey, now Barrel. Uh, 
Let's, let's see. I would say in the grand scheme of things, in the grand scheme, uh, at the very least, Barrel was not as bad as Harvey. No, that, that, that's the thing. Like, uh, I'm only stating the, like, some seriousness when it comes to certain things because of what was happening. But you're right. Harvey was worse because it was so slow to go through. And it kept downpouring, like, just throwing rain on rain for days to days and days. And it was flooding a lot of places. Barrel came and went. The thing that was really messed up with Barrel is that we were getting hit with the, the, the heavy bands of air. Like, the heaviest band of that hurricane is what all the heavy winds and rain was. Exactly. And to that joke that Johnny came made made in the beginning of the stream, Scorp the scorpions were just playing all night long, and we couldn't stop them. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 what's I think? Let's see. Uh, I think the worst. No, not the worst. Not the worst. I would say because when I did go to work, we usually have the morning news, and it was, it wasn't a lot. It. I think it's in hindsight the fact that there wasn't a lot to report on in terms of fatalities, like which we still had some, uh, especially one where unfortunately um, a man and a man d uh, died in his room when a tree fell on his house. Which no, oh, that, oh yeah, oh that's 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 scary. To, that's scary to think of, scary to think about. Out of the four initial deaths. A man died while he was working in a crane, one of those construction cranes. Another person, which was actually, I, I don't even, I think it was an old lady. She died in her house because a tree fell on her. That's two trees. The other two, actually it was three because the first guy that died in the crane had a tree on him too. Ah, I see. Uh, the other two people that died initially... I just think it was bad timing for them, to be honest. They, their bodies were found in their tent. They were camping. Oh. Yeah, that, that, that definitely not the wisest, wisest choice. And also, hello, hello, David, Davi, however, however it's pronounced. And also, and also a nod to Pl Plague Rook. Hello, hello. Yeah, but, but, uh, but the, oh. uh, the deaths oh. that we have right now. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say about the one and a high note because you know we we do have some, uh, as far as I know, a, a handful a handful of fatalities. Really, I think the only thing we're gonna be remembering is mostly gonna be the power outages, because compared to previous hurricanes we we've been through, uh, it, uh, uh, uh. You know, we had power just in the past, but it was never to the scale that we had with Hurricane Barrel. Uh, not not unless because the fatalities and and that and the destruction was very was was of a less less severe degree compared to previous hurricanes. Maybe just more emphasis in terms in terms of media coverage on the power issue. So I don't know which. Mm -hmm. so I don't know which. Both could be right, but I don't know which one is. Is a more accurate representation of of this event. Yeah. Either either case, we are thankful that, as far as us personally, both uh, both Jack and I and our fam and our families and our loved ones, we survived through it. Uh, we survived through it, and came and came out and came out through through the thick of it. Especially ja especially Jack. <laughs> Personally, if I was in his shoes, I probably would have abandoned post much sooner than later. <laughs> so man, I'll... I I wouldn't I wouldn't have a choice to abandon post because I mean like in the sense of like, even if I did. Oh yeah, you you were you, you were you were stuck there because even if you wanted to leave, the storm was preventing you. Yeah, and also, it's kind. Of, it was kind of a mean thing to say to my mom. But I told them, like, it would have been better if you guys came with me because, like, I wouldn't feel comfortable being in this house 
compared to my work. Because my work, the building is made of cement and rock and not bricks, but just cement and rocks. Meanwhile, the house of yeah, it's just brick and brick and uh and wood. Uh sadly enough, I sadly enough the that some apparently my mom was saying how in one of the streets closest to us the house's roof got ripped off like literally gone like on an Ooh. open lid oh that hurts. yeah so we came out pretty much unscathed uh i i don't think we've even had damage on the on the shingles some of the houses near us also were fine. Uh, most of the houses near us were fine too. Maybe some damage in the sense of like something hit them and there's like a small baseball sized hole in there. But that one was like the worst one from out of everyone. Oh, no, although there was, there, although there was a, chi a cherry on, on Jack suffering near the, near the end of the week as he, as he was driving home from work. His tire pressure light came on. Oh my god! I, I will. Yeah. I'll go ahead and again explain the story <laughs> because I, I and I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to make it simple. So it was Thursday, right? Uh, yes, it was Thursday. Ye yes, Thursday. It was Thursday. Um, basically, I I did not have enough sleep. I could not get any, enough sleep. We've been sleeping. Well, the first night I slept in the house because we had enough cold air. Second night, not so much. We were getting, it was pretty tough. Third night was the worst in the sense of like, we were sweating bullets. We had to sleep in our cars. for So for like two nights, we were sleeping in our cars. I could not keep doing that. I, like I was having to get ready for work and all that stuff. And it was actually taking a toll on me. Uh, I think, I think what started the conversation with your mom was me asking for power, something like that. I think it was. Do you remember? Uh, according to her, I think you were you were just check uh just checking up checking up up on us. I believe that's okay. What it yeah, was. yeah. And yeah. And through the and through the and through the kindness of my and the kindness of my mother, she she offered Jack to have not just him but his whole family come over to our our place because we have power. I work in AC and we could and we could, um, uh, we we could get um uh, give give enough room for accommodate. everyone to to that's the word. Thank you to accommodate ev to accommodate everyone. Now, I won't go into details, but. Um, uh, uh, Jack, uh, Jack Ellen ended up taking himself on the offer, and so the very late in the night, um, after leaving work and having to get some stuff from from his from his house, well, oh, am I jumping ahead? Yeah, well, actually, like I don't want to make make it sound like I'm a monster, but well, no, no, be, like, <laughs> well, no, I'm like not, in the sense of like here, it, here's the reason. Well, no, it's like leaving okay. out things is just the reason why. Okay, go the, ahead. The then. thing is, like they. They offered it to me. I was adamantly telling my mom, like, please let, uh, you need to go, especially. She wasn't having it. She was more worried about the house because, like, no alarm or no electricity. People might steal things, all that good stuff. And my mom and my dad, at the same time, they did not want to step on anyone's toes. They just felt like there would be a bother. Stubborn as they are, they just didn't want to go. My brother and my brother and I, we both, uh, we were both, I was telling him like, please let, just let us convince them. He couldn't help me out with that section. So he told me that, um, he was going to stay with the family and I'm like, yeah, I guess so. And like the main reason why I really wanted to I guess the main reason why I went ahead and went with y'all was one because I, I I confided in you I was like asking like I felt bad I was just wanting to see what your opinion was mm -hmm. and 
from there, I was convinced that, yeah, you know what? I am going to be working again this week, so I might as well try to get there with some semblance of, like, sleep. But I was like, okay, I'm going to take, I'm going to take this battery. Because we, we had a battery. We, we borrowed it from my job. I asked them nicely, and again, my job and um and uh my job was like really helpful because they gave me ice an ice chest and a battery to work with so we were able to charge our phones and at least have some some semblance of cool with the uh, with some fans but it was running out so i went to hacks when i was going to hacks i turned the last corner there was one last corner i turned i turned that corner on my dashboard, it says low tire pressure. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe this. Really? Did I, I must have hit something because right now we like, there's no power. Tree branches are everywhere. No matter how quickly they're trying to clean it up. It's still, there's still some somewhere. So I thought I got a flat tire. I'm there freaking out. I finally at their house. I was actually at their house 10 minutes before I even rang rang their doorbell because I was just like freaking out trying to figure out what was happening with the the tires. Their uh, <laughs> Pax mom convinced me to come back inside and worry about it later. And finally went to sleep. Turns out it was just flat it, it was just flat because it it wanted air. It just needed air. That was it. I was worried for nothing. This is just but at the same time. Yeah, this is just. The I think it was a good thing I went. Yeah, this is just the highlight, ladies and gentlemen, of how much stress can get can get to us, and that through the mountains that we travel, figuratively speaking, when we come across some molehill, we convince ourselves it's a mountain. Yeah. yeah but but. And, but but I, but we are, but I am glad. I'm glad because coincidentally, after the first night that Jack, um, that Jack slept slept over at, at my at my home, the very next day, her, uh, he, he announced on on his on uh, on his Discord server, but he had his power back. So, so so it, so it was just a good coincidence that he just had to just do that one that one uh one night, and then from there he can help. Well, with the family making sure everything back in order in this household. <laughs> because, man, uh, yeah, their phones were practically dead. So I was glad that I got that battery, at least for some fresh air. Because they, they were not, at least my, especially my, my parents, they were not feeling good. Like, that's why, if anyone, please make sure that keep yourselves cooled and... Go in the shaded area because oh, well, some you, people don't notice, but heat can kill. Oh, uh, you don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> I got. Oh I've, my god, yes. I've come across my back. I. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use. A, I'm gonna use a slur here, but but it is important. It is important. Maybe a wet. Uh, maybe a wet back, but by God, I cannot handle the sun. <laughs> I am I, I I am I I am a, 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 a malfunctioning Mexican if I can't even handle the sun. <laughs> uh, Doctor Crow says you mofos are from Texas. Heat is heat, Doctor Crow. Heat is heat. <laughs> Just because we can toler tolerate it to to an extent, don't 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 uh don't don't mean we enjoy it. Besides, yeah, and, and be and besides, once it becomes. <laughs> October, uh, November, December. Then we're gonna start complaining of how cold it is, and then everyone up no. north is gonna be like, "Oh, boo hoo! Look at y'all in your thirty no, degree I, weather." I will be celebrating. I am the <laughs> type of person that's like celebrating. I'm like, "Yes, cold. I Not even cold. It's just a nice breeze. A nice chill. It's Which, a nice chill." But you know what? I will. I'll gladly take that. You, 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 your northern folks can have your have to shovel snow every morning just to move your car. Well, we have a a nice cool breeze that lasts the entire day. 
Back it. The entire entire hour. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> but yep, that that is play oh players of Texas. You know what they say about Texas? I don't know. What do they say, Miss Mr. Rock? They said, hey, I remember the ice storm hit negative 30 for us and it was worse in Texas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember, <laughs> I remember the ice ice storm too. That was, man, that was still in, in such an odd, but yet c- cinematic moment when I came home, had some, had some family there, and everyone was just enjoying the barbecue at, at, at twilight. It, and the house was barely lit, but just a blue light that tinted the environment. You see, I always say i rather deal with a like if there was an outage situation i would rather deal it in the cold than in the heat because at least with the cold and it comes when it comes to at least my my way of living as a as a mexican man we just go oh, okay let's get the next go be let's just put it pile them on top pile them on top we'll Bye. be bundled up into like this ball of of eagles and tiger Tiger patterns. I can handle the cold too much because my feet are very sensitive to the cold, unfortunately. Like, my, like it's, it's, it's a type of my the rest of my body can be in a nice, uh, normal temperature, but my feet are freezing. All right, we're gonna have to start adding more socks. <laughs> I don't want to wear socks inside though. I want, I want to, I want to stretch my toes. I want to curl them. <laughs> I can't curl my toes with socks. You're gonna have to wear more socks. Ah, uh, damn it. Uh, hey, well, and with that, I think believe that's everything. That's everything we can share. It was a hectic week, but uh, we are glad to to uh, to come back and do the show. And and. Uh, and throughout this time, Jack, I'll share with you after the stream, after the stream, of uh, several ideas we do for our fifth year celebration. Uh, I I, I neglected to I don't need to mention it, but folks, we'll have a proper stream to celebrate it. But but we are officially have in a milestone of reaching the fifth year of the Hack Jack Show YouTube channel. That's right, folks. We've been doing this crap for five years now. Half a decade. <laughs> time flies. Oh my gosh. Let's let's see. T- time does flies and 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 let's and I'm thinking back, where was I five year five years ago? I was working. At the old church? No, no. Oh what's it? Let's see. In that let's see, in that time. Oh man. I was, work, I was doing part-time work. It was a, it was, it was a, it was a year after I already grad, graduated from college. I was, uh, what else? What else? I can, I can share his own news. At that time, had my, I, I was I already had my first, my first breakup. <laughs> and oh yeah, that's right. Like, oh, what else? What else? And. And yeah, and that's I really like a thing. I was I really like a think of, and oh, and that's right. And because Jack and and because Jack and I at the time, um, we're go, we're we're going going to the same going to the same church. I would often I I I, I was prat I was I was his chauffeur, not really, but but I wrote I wrote I wrote with them, and then after every service, we would go out to eat, which was. Which as we we said in the past, that was the main inspiration of, of of why we wanted to do this YouTube show because all the just the silly things we will talk about um, after <laughs> after every Sunday service as we eat as we eat our fine dining of I of buffets, wings, or 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 sometimes some uh or actually some good food like from a like Korean barbecue or or a ramen shop. Wait, oh yeah, 
I was thinking, uh, we need to do that again. Go maybe to a Korean barbecue or something. Uh, I got mostly to, because I, like, I got to save money not, and save money on that place. Mostly because like, uh, for okay, it's gonna be kind of a more self-imposed thing. But next week, I will be on, on Thursday. I will, I, I'll have my birthday. That, ooh, that's right. I didn't forget because it's, it's on my phone calendar, but with all the events that's hap that's hap that, that no, yeah, happened, I understand. That's right. No, I un I understand. That's right. Jack's gonna hit. It's gonna hit. Hit. Gonna hit his milestone as well. So I got. I gotta start thinking. Thinking of devious plans behind the scenes. <laughs> there you go. That's but like the the only reason why I'm saying that is like uh I oh, might choose up. a a restaurant to go to. Oh that's uh Johnny says did you blast Creed during your breakup Tim? You blasted Creed during your breakup. Johnny arms wide open. Jo Johnny. Johnny you should know you by now. Do, uh, do, uh, do you give the impression that I even listen to Creed? Do you even give that impression? I may like my good rock, good sir, but I do not listen to Creed. Actually, I don't even have a breakup song. <laughs> it was such a lot. It was such I a lot. I remember I you know what? No, I, no, you know what it is? You know what it is? I, if, if mm -hmm. there was any music that was playing that kind of helped me through that time, it was either old country music <laughs> or or um uh or some or some like um uh, not mariachi i'm trying to think like some okay stuff like uh, maybe stuff like uh selena or stuff like that oh for me you don't you want to know what mine is what? not a breakup song but one that i will listen to and then like i'll have someone i have in my in, in my mind uh how was it called? rata de dos patas Ratas dos patas? Rata de dos patas. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you remember that song? Uh, or no? If you play it, there's a possibility, but uh, just as the title alone, no. It's by uh, Paquita, del, uh, Paquita, de, Paquita La del Barrio. Pa Paquita La del Barrio. I have to look it up. It's, there is a possibility I may, I may know it. It just doesn't. I don't listen to I don't listen to enough Mex Mexican music. It's it's literally just uh this whole still this whole song is literally just someone just talking mad shit over <laughs> the person they talk like Rata Inmunda, Animal Rastrero, Escoria de la Vida, just like saying you stupid rat, you're a animal that just cr like crawls on the floor you are the bane of my existence Go like down. literally just every single Damn. time just a <laughs> bunch of insults oh my god you are the you are the bane of my existence woman <laughs> that's a good line that's a good line i'm not gonna lie that's a good line I love singing that song. It's just like so, like there's so much, there's like you it, when you sing it, there's like this energy. You're like, oh, I wanna, you know, I, I think wanna I, say it all. I think I, I think if there was one more, I think type of song, it would probably be uh, also Frank Sinatra music. That was also probably something I listen, I listen to a lot. Frank Sinatra. <laughs> she can be the Escuela de la Vida, but you day her, Mister Singer Man. <laughs> 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 oh man. Uh, so so yep. Uh so do so in the very near future, Jack and I will plan a special a special year five year five and anniv anniversary celebration stream. And uh and of course and, and the show will resume uh will resume e um every every Monday. So we'll be back on until our next uh, self-imposed uh, vacation oh, and oh and as well uh i will get it's kind of early announcement but i just want to just put it out there 
I will continue to re uh to re-release uh older episodes and try to and try to um, and try to ca- and, and try to catch up surprisingly the last ep- the last uh re-edited episode i put up which is where we talked about god uh godzilla cross x kong also mm-hmm. that, uh for our little channel that was, that's actually surprisingly doing some numbers especially since like it was it was like it was a re- it was a re- uh, us talking about the what a what five when that movie came out in april right may no april i think so i came out like i think so yeah damn it feels like a long time ago it's probably like two or three months ago (laughs) (laughs) so yeah i'm 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 catching i'm catching up but but everything with the storms has just kind of just kind of halted everything but has given me time to actually uh do some do some more do some more drawing and Damn, I, I don't know why I wanted to draw Trish. It's not even my favorite character, Devil May Cry. I don't know. I guess she just has that face, you know? You know what I mean? I know what you mean. Yeah. Nami. Uh, now, now I mean. You know what I mean, Nami. Johnny, right? There's a character. You, you know you, what I mean? You know what I mean, Johnny. He's like, you, you don't particularly think he's your favorite character, but yet you can't help but like, but I want to draw you. I don't like you. I want to draw you, or maybe that's just me. I don't know. Maybe just maybe, or, or maybe I'm just overthinking. I'm probably the love hate relationship. It. No, not even. I don't even hate. I don't even hate Trish, even if she did betray Dante in the first game. <laughs> Johnny says she had that face in DMC four. You know what it is? Yeah, because she's in uh three games: DMC one, four, and five. DMC one. I mean, she she as good as you can look for a game on the PS two. Let's be real early ps2 like i think dmc was like a launch title so early like we're Mm -hmm. we're talking about like game developers were still using jpegs as like (laughs) as like textures hell yeah uh then she i forgot about that (laughs) and then and then she reappeared in dmc4 and she looks much she looks uh much more nicer uh when drawing her i never realized she actually had a uh a she had a she, she has a bit of a schnoz on her, Jack. I never noticed until I had a good look at her for like four hours. And, also, <laughs> and I was like, huh, her nose is slightly longer than I thought. Uh, and and funny enough, I looking compare her look in four and five. I actually don't like her. I actually don't like her five look only because I don't like the hair. I don't like her hair in five. I much I like I much prefer her sleek <laughs> hair and four. But that's just a me thing. All right, let's see. Oh. And but also as but as I finished drawing that uh that sketch of Trish, I I'm already my mind's already on the next thing I want to draw after I finish my current Trish sketch. And I'm like, you know what? I should draw the ladies from Shenmu. <laughs> Why not? And yeah, and he asked me, ladies, like, yes, I'm gonna draw all of them. Maybe. I don't know. That's a it's kinda tough to draw all of them. Draw Shenwa, uh, Nozomi. Who's who's the martial arts one again with the blue dress? I, I'm trying to remember. What about the one that was like Joy? Yes, Joy. I'll definitely draw Joy. No, what about the one that uh the antagonist one. She doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't quote unquote. I'm not gonna draw her. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, I was hoping to go. Yeah, I forgot about her. <laughs> it's like it's like not 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 unless someone wants to draw me with her uh with a chainsaw and maybe because at least that's kind of fun. But no, I want to draw pretty la- I want to draw pretty ladies. I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be like. I'm gonna be like Johnny. Oh, draw the guy. Johnny says, "Draw the gotcha prize." He never got a Shenmue three. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a a white. What was it? A white. Uh, a white lure. That's what it was. Yeah, a white lure for like a fishing rod. Oh wait, didn't you get a bunch of knuckles instead? I don't know. Okay, so in my original like streams of Shenmue one and two. 
you know, I mm-hmm. would I would get like the Sonic figures, and I was mm-hmm. slowly getting the Sonic character. I got Sonic, Tails, Amy, Fang. You know Fang, right? Of course you do. Um, the polar mm-hmm. ba- the polar bear. I forget his name. But I could. I was like, I was like, all right. Now I just need Knuckles. And I kid you not, it took until near the end, near the near the end of Shenmue two. Like, like right around when you leave Hong Kong and you go to Kowloon, where you have to, and mm-hmm. you're, you're in that part of the game, it took me to that far in my entire playthrough of both games to finally get a Knuckles gotcha. <laughs> took me two games to get Knuckles. And oh my god. I, and you, you guys, for those who haven't seen it, uh, it's still up on the channel. You can go watch those streams on a neat playlist. And you can just see me just just trying to get a knuckles oh and i got near the end and it was just all the celebration all the celebration to finally get knuckles now uh, you I, just need to finish three no i no i i i <laughs> i did my time three didn't want me three uh, didn't want me to finish it all right i'm sticking back <laughs> Three, refu- three imploded. Yeah, three refused <laughs> to let to let me play it. And no, I am and, and I'm not gonna go through the loophole of oh, just buy Shenmue three on Steam and install the 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 Shenmue Kiwami mod that makes the game tolerable. I'm, Man, I've seen that game like four dollars, and I still don't even want to buy it. No, it's, no, that's too much money. It's not worth it. Johnny says, draw the, draw the old lady that told you about her adult activity. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, that's right. Did Shamu 3? There's this old lady. Uh, you ask about a bridge, and there's a certain old lady. She's like, oh, that bridge. Oh, yeah. I remember what I did under that bridge. <laughs> Damn. And I'm like, man, she is like, man, this, this, this woman's up. This is the, I'm like, am I talking to the village bicycle here? What the heck? Oh, gra- gra- Granny has been around the block. No, if, uh, I, no, that's an exaggeration. She it was po- it's the dialogue supposed to be that you know she remembers like kissing boys underneath it, but Johnny went the extra mile with it. <laughs> Johnny went the extra. I was like, nah, she she was getting when she was young and beautiful. She spent all day under that bridge. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh man. But yeah, no, no. So I, I might. So after I finish my current tri- sketch, I will. Do, I will. Josh, Josh, Shenmue, Sh- Shenmue, La- ladies, and also, and also, it actually helped me practice how to draw Asian people. I have, I have not, att- I have not attempted once. So it will be, in- it will be interesting. Oh. Oh, oh my... for a second, like, <laughs> Wait, I... I thought you, I just like, I thought you just gave up somewhere in between. No, I just finished the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, like, oh, we we've been out, we've been out too long. We're forgetting, we're forgetting how to keep on going. No it's because, like, I was looking at, I was looking at YouTube, and I keep forgetting that YouTube is delayed by like ten seconds. So I see your, 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 your thing flashing, and I'm like, oh. Is he, can I hear him anymore? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, <laughs> ah, Johnny! Yep, yep. Hold on, Johnny. For that, for that reference, you. Let's see. For that reference, you get. Hold on, you get this. <laughs> Awkward pause or mouth organ. Yeah. By the way, Johnny. Um. Uh, Speaking of of Craig Ferguson, this is a, I'll just be a quick tangent. Uh, he actually has a he actually has an ongoing podcast at the moment. I checked it out a little. I checked it out a few episodes. Some of the most of the guests I'm either unfamiliar with or have not too much interest in, but the few ones I have listened to, I've rather quite quite enjoyed them. Enjoyed them, and I love the fact that uh, and I love the fact that at his at Number one, he still kind of is the same guy as he was when he was doing the Late Late Show. But also the fact that he tried to live a retired life. 
got bored of being retired and went right back to work. <laughs> right back to doing to being a comedian. No Jeff Peterson, no deal. I'm well, well I mean, we can't all have skeleton robot psychics, right, Jack? Uh speak for yourself. All right, John, you want to be my skeleton ro robot sidekick who's also gay? <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, no, get no, ghetto should be my skeleton robot sidekick who also happens to be gay. <laughs> he can at least pretend to be. <laughs> God, I love him. He can pretend to be. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man. Um, you know what? I think it's about time. This is probably a good I think it's it's about a good a good point. We can start closing things off uh a little bit earlier than earlier than usual. So I've already announced a, I already did a few announcements at the beginning, so I'll also add one one more thing. Then Jack, you can announce what you need to announce. Gotcha. Um just uh so secondly, uh I posted this on X, but I want to also declare it on air. The I completed the first draft of the Saint Seiya script, and right before the storm, I also completed the second draft. So I'm gonna do one more once over of the of the script to make sh uh, to make sure that it is as good as I as I can write it. And then once that is done, we can finally make it to the edit the uh, to the recording process. So yeah, so there are big. So we already got some big. Uh, developments um with the saint Seiya video also uh, also uh very soon i'll be re i uh very soon uh, i'll be releasing a brand new alex and millie comic and and um the store kind of knocked out the the store kind of a uh, not kind of the, the store uh in uh may was a priority, so I didn't get to finish re-releasing all the previous comics. I only got one more left, and then after that, I was releasing uh, Al Alex and Millie number five that I that I have uh, that was worked on a few months ago uh, by an by an artist I'm working with, who is also the same artist who has drawn my new uh, little uh, profile image that you see on screen. So. That I should give you, so I should give you an idea type a type of her art, her art style. So yes, I'm hoping to uh, continue Alex and M Millie's adv adventures uh, throughout th uh, throughout the year when I can, because make because uh, Doctor Crow and Miss Saren can attest to this. Uh, even making a, a simple uh, little comic strip is time consuming, and if you're not prepared for it, can also be a little pricey. So. So, so so do my so I'm going to do my best to carefully at least re uh make as much comments as I can feasibly can uh for the for the rest of the year. But yeah, so be on the look uh lookout for that. All right, Jack, what do you have to announce? All right. So for me, uh it's going to be pretty interesting for this week. So tomorrow I will be streaming the uh, Call of Cthulhu session that Miss Saren has planned out so well for us. We already made our characters in session zero. We already set up everything. Uh, I'm excited to see how this goes. This is going to technically be my first time playing the Call of Cthulhu stuff. Ooh. This will be taking place in the, yes, the cock. <laughs> This is going to be taking place in the SCP uh, space or universe. So for people that are into SCP stuff, well, this will be interesting for all of us because I I'm, a, I'm interested to see how long I live. <laughs> now, would this, now but, would this be exclusive to Twitch or will our YouTube audience be, also be able to watch it? Uh, I will... I don't think it should be... Yeah, it really shouldn't be too heavy and and resources just literally me and people talking so it, it will definitely i'll definitely put them both on youtube and twitch so people can experience it on both sides just know that the chat that will be shown will only be twitch because of the contract 
with Twitch affiliate. Which 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 is to uh, say that if you want the full ex full experience of Jack streams, then pl then please, uh, you haven't already go to his Twitch channel, which is Twitch TV forward slash. Just Jack VT. There you go. You get the full experience and to make our mascots Alex and Manly say the most incredulous things. Yep. And let me see here real quick, just to double check on how everything is in my channel. Uh, I am five followers away till 200, as some of y'all know. And just a quick reminder, I did make it a goal with no specific time limit that at 200 mark, I will do a karaoke stream. At that point, I will make another channel on my Discord for y'all to put in some uh to vote for some songs to be placed into the the, the list just please be be gentle i'll bring it i'll bring, don't give me a song i'll bring my tambourines <laughs> i can uh, play along with you just like don't 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 send me a song that it's gonna be like super high octave because i i can't sing high no it, no but no we'll have to do a duet with um what was it for uh breaking was it breaking the world <laughs> <laughs> We're breaking, breaking the love. love, breaking the love. That that would be me. Although, like every time I hear that song, my mind goes straight to Judas Priest, just because they say because, breaking the law. <laughs> because we <laughs> breaking the law. Oh. But we will be. Uh, of course, there will be some songs that will be there. Like on day one, I'm pretty sure Johnny already knows one of them. It's gonna be uh. Bakami Tai. Of course, there's gonna be some meme songs, but hey, some of them are really good. Also, and oh, mm -hmm. oh I'll pause on that. Uh, Mister Yours Truly says, "Just click on this. What are y'all about?" All right, elevator pitch. My name is Hack. This is my co-host. This is my co-host Jack, and we, and we are uh, uh just two two friends who like uh, two friends who do a show called the Hack Jack Show every mo every mo Monday evening. Uh, to talk about all all types of uh, pop culture pop culture things, usually related to either video games or comic books. Jack's more Jack's more of the gamer type, so he does a lot of gaming streams, and I mainly focus on comic book or comic book re related media. Also, uh, Jack also has a tw a Twitch channel, and I and I mainly and I also do edited videos and sometimes my own live streams here on YouTube. We have a plethora of content for you to check out so you get a better view of who we are at his youtube channel over an over an overwhelming amount of content because we've been around for five years so if you enjoy what you see here please check out our previous episodes and all of our individual videos that we released over um o over this time and if you enjoyed it i'm glad um glad hope you can stay with us and if not well i'm glad you gave us their time so there's an elevator pitch for for you yours truly Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Where's my, where's my? Oh, that was the, that was gonna be the wrong sound. There we go. <laughs> I almost got. I almost used this sound. <laughs> because, well, we because like, because <laughs> um, I typed in, I typed in G on the soundboard, and I was gonna like go straight for the first thing because like, surely there's nothing like with the golf clap. No, it's just gun. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, so oh, and uh, and before anything else, Jack, you need to announce before we officially end this episode. Yes, on uh, this is gonna be the first. So, uh, the first thing for me, like a first on Wednesday, uh, I have I was invited to <laughs> uh to Floki's channel for a collab. We are gonna be making music. We're gonna be collabing on a song together. You need a saxophonist? Uh, that I don't know. Actually, maybe yes, because mm. it's going to be lo-fi. We're going to be making lo-fi. We're going to make lo-fi music. Not when uh, I'm, For not, those that don't know. Not when I'm done with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make you dance with my sex. So for those that know, don't know, uh, here is the... I'm gonna put it in the the chat. 
this is the Twitch channel that I will be collabing with on Wednesday. We're both going to, I'm not really sure how it's going to work. I don't know how it's going to work when it comes to collabing on it, but uh, we'll be making a song on Wednesday, if I'm correct. Awesome, awesome. And of, and of course, to repeat, to repeat again, our next episode will be the official so, so, uh, f- uh, year five uh, anniversary anniversary stream, uh, and we'll de- and we will we'll come up with some some things you unique, fun, and spectacular for all your viewing pleasure. And so, until then, we w- we are glad to be back do- for our f- doing another year of the Hack Jack Show, and we thank everyone. Who, uh, newcomers and all and our dedicated audience for for watching for watching us we truly appreciate it and with that this is hack and jack sign out